This is just a very quick video to show how to add one extra new panel to OC Pro Tool that OC Pro Tool has never had before. Now the panels in OC Pro Tool are completely flexible. There are um, left, right, top and bottom ones kind of bundled, understood by default, but actually you can have whatever you like. Um, we're going to make this particular section of our design done via a panel. Um, so this is actually going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to go into um, the header template of our theme. And I just want to put this little bit, this, uh, this little list of items into its own panel because then, um, then the end user of this website will be able to edit them without having to edit templates. Um, and fortunately it's a very standard list so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this out but I'm also going to convert it to com code just, just to make it really easy for them to edit so I will cut this out and I will just put in load panel panel info right I've just made up this name and it's just the name I'm going to use um, for the name of my panel. And a panel is just a com code page. I'm going to create the page by creating a txt file. I could make it in OC Portal 2, um, but I like to do things this way. Uh, and I think I'm just going to open panel top and I'm going to save that as um, panel info write.txt and I'm going to paste in what I've got uh, as I said I'm going to convert this to com code because it's going to be very easy to do um, There we go, what could be simpler, and I will save that, go back to OC Portal, and refresh, and everything is identical, which is what I want, um, because now this particular section of the site is content editable. Just to prove I have made a change, um, I'm going to change accountability to unaccountability. I don't think the client would like this change, but uh, they have the ability to put it back. There we go. Very simple. Okay, thank you for listening.